Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the 1 4th Hot Toys Batman Begins figure. As you can see in front of us right here, we have the Inner Bay Batman Begins figure and we have the Inner Bay Joker with the Hot Toys Dark Knight figure. At this time, when these released, it was like there was a, a toy war going on between Inner Bay and Hot Toys, which eventually Hot Toys kind of exited victorious since Inner Bay has kind of receded to only doing basketball, Michael Jordan, all those players. Uh, but at the time, Hot Toys had announced their one-fourth uh, Dark Knight and then Inner Bay announced their one-fourth Joker and Batman Begins. Hot Toys did Terminator, Inner Bay did Terminator. They were going back and forth and this was like in a span of months when they were going at each other over this. But as you can see, I wasn't going to miss the chance to buy uh, one fourth Batman Begins and a one fourth Joker. We now know, whoops, dropped, knocked over his head down here. You can see they each came with a head for Bruce Wayne. And you can kit bash yourself a pretty cool Bruce Wayne. But uh, we're going to compare up the Inner Bay figure. I'll probably make this into two parts. So you can watch the unboxing and then you could go watch the the comparison so you could figure out which one if you're here for the comparison you'll go to that video but we're going to compare up every bit of the inner bay batman to the hot toys batman on that note i'm also going to be doing a video very soon comparing uh the arkham knight batman and the arkham origins batman i get a ton of questions about them i love answering them but i've kind of developed thoughts on them so i think i got some well articulated things to say about them uh, on the one fourth, no, I love when Hot Toys does one fourth figures. I actually have Sideshow's premium format Batman and Joker. Uh, the Batman's non exclusive, the Joker is exclusive, and I plan on selling those. Uh, if you contact me through Instagram, uh, we'll discuss it, but uh, I'll sell them as a set and I'll be cutting a big deal on them. They don't have their box, but I'll wrap them very well. And again, they're going to be much cheaper than spending $4.99 a statue. But anyway, other than that, let's dive right into this Batman Begins one. So you can see right here, their one-fourth box. It was much like the uh, Dark Knight one-fourth box. It's got this foam core pop-out of Batman. You got some cool designs of his suit. The back, you got your credits with the same type of shiny designs. Hot Toys has always made some extremely cool boxes. These ones even take it a little level further. I got these little uh, side flaps. Let me go ahead and cut this open. So in case you haven't heard yet, I first got into Hot Toys all the way back when the Dark Knight came out in 2008. So you could say a little over 10 years since the anniversary was in like June, I believe, or July, whichever it was. But uh, my first one was the Jared Leto Joker figure. I loved it. I, it was amazing. And uh, I couldn't believe that the, they made a Batman in a rubber suit and it wasn't sculpted in plastic. So uh, right here, we get this nice foam. Oh, wow, he is. He's pretty awesome already. You can see, so it's rubber. He's a bit shiny. Uh, shinier than the inner bay one that is. Oh, wow. How cool. Uh, we got all of his hands right here. You can see he had those uh, neoprene gloves from the first one. The gloves that were supposedly make the fabric stand up and do shapes. His cape, you know. Uh, you got the belt. One thing I'm really wondering is if this belt is going to fit correctly around him where it's supposed to. Because the inner bay one sat much, much too high. We also got these faces. You get a nice angry face in this. And one showing a little bit of teeth. I, you know, when I saw that they were doing the Joker and this Batman Begins Batman, I was so excited. Because I love when Hot Toys does their treatment. Here's our Bruce Wayne head. Very cool, very nice. 
at this point, I want to kit bash a Bruce Wayne eventually. Uh, end up having three Bruce Wayne heads, huh? All right, let's go ahead. Slide him up. Let's take a look at our accessories. We got our instructions. We got his harness. That's awesome. We got his ski mask. We got every little thing. Oh my god, we even have the device that goes in his shoe. I believe the inner bay one has that as well. Uh, we'll have to put them side by side. I want to keep giving the inner bay one shout outs while we're opening the hot toys just because. So, we got rules. It's telling us not to pull up his cod piece area that his suit is attached. We see the hands that can hold the certain things. We got his mask. He can hold his mask. We got all of his harnessing, how to set it up, which I think is going to be cool. You can see right down here, he's all set up in it. That's one of the things. So I think my actual first figure was Takakira Batman. And their Batman did all of this. It had the harness. It had everything. I'll have to pull that figure out one day. Uh, we got the magnetic mouths. We got the switch out area. Telling us the do's and don'ts. You know, uh, his cape is going to be magnetically held on him. Which I feel is kind of a bummer. Because uh, well, maybe this will work out better. But the inner base cape has a bitch of a time staying on. It's just awful. I've created a custom cape. I put his normal cape on for this video, but I created basically a custom cape to deal with that. Oh, wow. So we got his cape right down here. And with this new Batman coming out, that means I will probably start making custom capes again in case people are interested. Let's see. Let's go with this one. Oh, wow. So it looks like they picked a really good fabric to do this cape in. Yeah, I mean, that looks just like his cape in the movie. These seem to be some pretty strong magnets. You can see the seam down the middle. Let's go ahead. Give you an idea of the size. I remember sometimes, yeah, oh, that's really nice and big, you know. This one might not even actually need a custom cape. Uh, the sometimes the material they've made capes out of have just been, what are? Why would you make a cape out of that? That's how it starts to fill. Oh, cool. Look at this. The evidence bag from the Batman Begins when Joker, they make that little call out to Joker. I had heard that uh, at the time, Christopher Nolan did not know if he wanted to do another one. Look at how cool that base is. That's dope. And that they didn't even think they might ever get to the Joker, but... Basically, Batman Begins was a success, and they moved on to give us one of the best movies we've all ever seen, ever, The Dark Knight. It is a golden standard. Uh, it's a dark, gritty comic book movie, and I think people forget how dark that movie was. It was a crime drama. It was noir. It was everything good, and I don't know. Superhero movies have turned into... This light-hearted thing that I just, I'm not a big fan of it. We've got the little pieces to his belt. I'm still in the bag for almost every superhero movie. But I'll tell you, the, the silly ones and stuff. I've only seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2 once. And I have no plans on watching it again. Those... Movies just don't carry any weight for me. I like The Winter Soldier. I love that movie. I love Iron Man 1. I still like 2 and 3. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like 3 and it wasn't the best. 
but I really like Shane Black, and I liked his movie uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and that's why I like it so much, because it reminds me exactly of it. Check out this. Just like in the movie, the Batarang, when he takes it and folds it, and runs it along his belt. How cool is that? And we get, oh, I think, oh, this one's metal. It's actually, I don't have anything metal to drop it on, but it's metal. Same with this one. So we get three actual metal ones. And the clips that they hook into. You see that one there? So check this out. We get his, uh, his grapple gun. Oh. Oh, so, I feel like maybe that's all it pulls back. I don't feel like that seems right, but I don't know. Maybe I'm happy with it. I don't feel like breaking it. Oh, you know what? What is this? Well, I tried and I missed. We'll have to look in the instructions. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, it is. So, it's going to go on. Oh, shit, I get it. So you pull this off. And you put this one in. And that's how it hooks to his belt. How cool is that? So his cartridge switch out is how you hook it. So now we have his harness. I think this harness is super cool. Uh, we'll definitely have to try to suit him up in it. We have his... Uh, mask it sounded like a bunch of ripping when i opened it but i guess not so there's his mask feels like there's like thickness in here maybe it's to hold the shape probably is along the seams all right let's go ahead and actually Take a look at his hands, and then we'll get straight to him. Oh, that one's connected to him. So one that can hold batterings, one that can hold his grapple gun, one that can hold, or just a relaxed hand, both sides. Uh, a wider grip, and then we got an open hand. Now see that is cool. That's where it's at. And we got this one. All right. Let's go ahead and put that there. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, wow. All right. So this one definitely, that cowl holds some real shape. Thing looks like a monster. You know, maybe one day, well, sometime soon. So I have a Dark Knight uh, video I'm going to be doing soon of the Batwing. Because I got it on a really good sell. And I'm going to pull out a lot of my Batman and Begins and Dark Knight figures. Uh, it just didn't feel right with this one. I wanted to go one-fourth with it. But uh, I'm going to pull out the uh, Demon Batman, the Scarecrow. Those are some really cool figures. I remember when Hot Toys put out Demon Batman and Scarecrow. They put out that teaser where it was just that picture on their website. And I they had like cherubs or whatever those little angels they had the half man half batman thing and the i know that was when they did the beat at michael jackson the batman and the scarecrow but 
There was something else, and I can't think of it. I feel like I bought all of them, though. But let's take a look. You can see we have a strap down here that they do not want us messing with. It said so in the instructions. We got this cool back. Look at how it's like sewn. It's like you, it's like fake sewn, but you can tell that's the undersuit part in the movie, how it went. And we got down here where it comes right down and hooks down under his legs. You can see how they made it look like the urethane rubber that sat on the neoprene suit, like the real suit in the movie. And he just, he's thick. He's so, oh my God, that's such a perfect cowl, to be honest. Go ahead and see him standing up. Oh my goodness. So I'm, I'll go for these things anyway, because, oh my god, you have no clue how many times I've watched the Dark Knight trilogy, but they delivered on this figure. Oh, you know what? Don't want to really slide this around. Let's get it positioned perfectly. That right there. Oh, this belt is beautiful. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. Look at how on the inside we got this pad. And these pieces just sink right in. So nice, so easy. The inner bay one overcomplicated it with like a zip string type of technology. I mean, we're talking years ago compared to now. So, I mean, it's this is going to be a comparison, but we're not going to be shitting on anyone. We're not going to be making fun of one or the other. It's going to be strictly informational purposes only. Because I'm a big fan of this stuff. I, I'm in for anything Batman, really. As long as it's good, right? Oh, wow. So. Hands come off easy. Oh. One came off a little easier, but okay, went back on good. We got his gauntlets, you can see them right here. Oh, they open. Oh, wow! So they have a, a strap in here, and I wasn't sure what the thing was saying, but they both have this area probably for uh, the hands posing, whatever it may be. Let's see what their official term is. Why they said it's doing that. Ah. We can see right here. Oh, they talked about it being sharp and not to touch it. Oh, right here. It says, Put the forearm flaps towards the indicated direction to move the hand as shown. Do not overstretch, otherwise the suit may be damaged. Yeah, it's just to give him more range of motion. So, that's cool. Way to think ahead, Hot Toys. Way to work things out. So check this out. This is going to be really cool. Underneath his shoe. Wow, I wonder what that little thing... It moves. Oh, uh, it's. It probably did it because it's just when he pulls it out and he uses that switch. They stay. How cool is that? Look at the bottom of those boots. I'm really impressed by this figure. I. I am not gonna lie. It's pretty amazing, and all these things are gonna just clip onto his belt. I'll have to get some pouches on there. So check this out. It'll be this one. We're gonna put our metal batterings in it. Probably goes the other way. I can't stress how cool it is that he's got some metal ones. Ah. Oh. Cool. Hooks right on. Easy enough. 
they want you to take this, the gun, you just pop this one right on the back. Hooked right on. I mean, if we had all of this stuff hooked on, oh my god, it'll look like you could barely move. Check that one out. Hooks right in there. We'll end up putting it somewhere on there, but let's take a look. We get, I don't know, we'll just put a couple little random pouches on there. This is another spot where the inner bay one kind of, what they were trying was a good idea, but it, not at all because it's magnetic. And that just means you end up having everything on his belt falling off all the time. It makes it, uh, it makes it difficult to touch. You don't want to ever even mess with them. These seem to go on and they lock on. Nothing opens, but you can just put it in. It's on. Just put it in. It's on. It's easy enough, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this cape. This is sort of the moment of truth where we will find out. Right there. Oh, wow. Wow. So, they've designed him to where his cowl locks it in pretty well. Look at that. You definitely won't be needing a custom cape from me for this figure. Wow. That, that is beautiful. Look at this thing. You cannot get better than that right now. Wow. You know, this 100% sold me on this. I mean... I wish I had two of them, but I don't know why. It would be cool to do him up as Bruce in his outfit and then do him up as Batman, but there's too many big, bad statues out there to be doing that. Wow. Oh, look at this cape. It can just... You know, they don't really go well in front of him anymore, kind of like how in 89... He was hidden by it. Looks a little weird here, but it definitely goes beautiful over the side of his shoulders, how it's supposed to be. Wow. And our faces. Bet you. Yep. It's weird because he doesn't come with a a tool like oh here we go sometimes some of them a little bit of hot glue in there sometimes they came with a little tool that actually looks a lot like this one and then they had another little one too where you'd move their eyes we're gonna have to end up taking his head off and looking around but how cool you can tell where it's like pushing on his mouth and making it stick out. Christian Bell had said that the suit was so uncomfortable and it gave him headaches and everything, all the pressure, that he just channeled it into his Batman. I've worn a lot of these things. I will have a begin suit here eventually, uh, but I can attest to it. And his was latex foam so probably a little easier to get on and off the urethane rubber ones are you you have a hard time getting a cowl off every sometimes when you use those wow he is just too cool way too cool his cape hides his belt very nicely his cape is big enough that it goes off and around his stand while still keeping him 
Like, it's just long enough. That's what's so beautiful about it. This is probably the best cape I think Hot Toys has ever executed at this point. Ah, oh, so cool. So now, sad enough, we're going to have to... I wonder if there's any special two styles ahead can be interchanged. All right, so... Let's see. Oh, okay. So on a scale of one to ten, the head came off at about a five. Be careful. It does fly up. You can see right in. I guess this one doesn't, his eyes don't move. Like the, uh, the Dark Knight. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and... Oh. All right. You know what? Give me one moment. Let me get a hair dryer. All right. So. Well, it's on. I used a hair dryer for just a couple seconds. And I was able to get his head on. Wow, he looks pretty cool. Yeah. It almost looks a little unnatural though how big the suit is on around him. I almost wonder if I have it incorrectly. All right. So, I don't think I'll ever be displaying him in this setup, but you tuned in. I gotta do it for you. Let's go ahead and Wow, that actually fits really well. That's when uh he visits the G C P D and he puts the stapler to the back of Jim Gordon's head and he asks him uh, how many there are and he says, we are two. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I wanna keep this piece of cardboard nice because I wanna put this back on it. That way you don't have a tangled up mess of straps. I do have the exclusive uh, Hot Toys All right, version. so I thought I took something apart that I wasn't supposed to, but it turns out that I was supposed to. And what was really happening was I had the thing on backwards. All right, so we're gonna have this. Let's see this Oops. To, oh he has some clicks in his arm so basically his suit won't damper the positions you can pose him in with those it's going to be nice all right so these big thighs of his you know, I don't think a lot of people really remember, but the shape Christian Bell got into to be Batman, he went from uh, being in that movie The Machinist to, you know, being as tiny as can be to being in Batman as this pretty big guy in relatively little time. Let's see. So, we need... This to go up higher. We need all that to be lower. Need this over his shoulders. That it's supposed to be about right. Here at chest level. 
then comes through. Well, let me tell you folks, this to get them in this, it's kind of a pain in the ass. It's a cool feature. It's easy, but I hate feeding straps. Oh, maybe it's because I have some bigger hands, but I would think if if you had two of these, it'd probably be ideal. All right, which I had literally bought two of those exclusive ones literally for this reason. I hope I don't get any ideas for this one. <laughs> All right. So. There you go. There he is. Pretty cool. Let's take a look. This would be pre-Batman. I mean, you're not going to be able to get rid of the chest symbol. Uh, Medicom actually has these little figures nowadays that are really cool. They remind me a lot of the SH figure arts, and one of them comes with a chess piece to switch out for this exact Batman look, just to make it the literal how it's supposed to be. Uh, what was I wanting to do here? Oh, I know. So, I guess one cool look, if you were to choose this Bruce Wayne display over the others was he came with a hand I'm actually assuming it's this one he came with a hand to uh, actually go ahead and... all right let's go ahead and so one of the things that I think is really cool and uh, they did the same thing with uh, Spider-Man, but which hand would be this one? This is our gentle open hand. We can put the ski mask, put the ski mask in that hand and have him hold it. Pretty cool. Wow, he does look cool like this, I'm not going to lie. This would be a great toy to get two of, just to do one like this and to do one like the other. It would really be worth it if you had a really nice hot toy movie collection and a home theater, which are all things Karen and I plan on doing here pretty eventually. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to my uh, unboxing of the 1 4th Hot Toys Batman Begins. As you can see right here, the inner bay and the Hot Toys figure and all of their accessories. So go ahead and uh, tune in to my part two because I'm going to separate them. If you were just here to watch it unboxed, go there. If you were just here to see them together, go the other one. That way it works out best for everybody. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. I love the love you guys give me. Uh, I appreciate it. And thank you. Keep leaving comments. I respond to everybody. But uh, anyway, guys, keep buying toys.